Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yentan. Campaigning period for general election to the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly will come to an end at 4 p.m. of February 25. The Chief Electoral Officer Nagaland said that public meetings will be prohibited during the period of 48 hours, ending with R fixed for conclusion of the poll. During this period, any public meeting or procession in connection with an election would be prohibited. It also prohibited display to the public on any election matter by means of cinematograph, television or other similar apparatus. Further propagation of any election matter to the public by holding or by arranging the holding of any musical concert or any theatrical performances or any other entertainment or amusement with a view to attracting the members of the public is also banned. The CEO of cautioned that any person who contravenes with this provision will be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to two years or with fine or with both. The CEO also directed district election administration and police administration to ensure that all political functionaries leave the constituency immediately after the campaign period is over. However, the set restriction may not be insisted upon the office bearer of a political party who is in charge of the state, it said. The CEO also directed that such office bearer of a political party should declare his or her place of stay in the state headquarters and the movement during the period in question should remain confined, normally between his party office and the place of his stay. Ahead of the crucial Nagaland polls, Du Darshan DD News Delhi will organize a one-day DD Dialogue Nagaland election 2023, including one-on-one interactions with political leaders and panel discussion with experts from the political parties on the upcoming Assembly election. The program will be held tomorrow at the Regional Centre of Excellence for Music and Performing Arts from 11 a.m. onwards. Representatives of major political parties like BJP, Congress, LJP and member of NBCC will participate in the dialogue. Joint Director DD News Delhi Arvind Jain will deliver the welcome address and the program will be hosted by anchor DD News Delhi Sakal Pat. The government has emphasised on launching an over-the-top platform for Brasa Parati this year to increase its footprint in the rapidly changing broadcasting industry. It also aims to take FM radio to Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities with more auctions for new FM radio stations this year. Speaking at a pro Cast Engineering Society Expo 2023 New Delhi, Information Broadcasting Ministry Secretary Aburva Chandra informed that the FM radio stations only cover 60% of the country. He said that the government will also conduct trials of direct-to-mobile television broadcasts this year. Chandra added that efforts have also been made by the government to reach left-wing extremism, border and strategic areas. Highlighting the status of community radio stations in the country, Information Broadcasting Ministry said that as many as 50 community radio stations were set up last year. Joint Director Soil and Water Conservation and State Nodal Officer for Meteorology, Rongsen Lemsen, said that during the last 46 days, the average temperature of the state recorded an average maximum temperature of 19.4 degrees Celsius, while minimum temperature hovered at 9.6 degrees Celsius and relative humidity at 68.7% and total rainfall at 34.6 mm. In a press release, the department has installed 17 meteorological observatories spread over the state at various altitudes, which records weather parameters such as maximum and minimum temperature, relative humidity and rainfall on a daily basis. The meteorological observatory at Dimapur recorded the highest temperature with 29 0 degrees Celsius on January 31 and Shamado recorded the lowest temperature with 2.4 degrees Celsius on January 17. As per Gramin Krishi Mosam Seva District Level Agromed, 
advisory for the last 46 days. The farmers are advised to irrigate the vegetables crop with sufficient amount of water at interval and to mulch the crop with 2 to 3 inches using dry leaves or straw to conserve soil moisture. Farmers are asked to be aware about the symptoms of diseases in pigs such as diarrhea, eye discharge, dry skin and irregular spots on skin. Poultry farmers are also recommended to maintain sanitation for disease avoidance, provide ample drinking water and good quality feeds. Laying of egg is reduced in winter, therefore increase the production. Goop temperature is to be increased, it stated. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.